Yeah. Well, uh, my best friend w was the president of a large publishing company, w which he greatly expanded, and he his whole career was with this company. And then when he retired, he told me that he was a bit lost. He didn't know what to do. Uh, he was, you know, felt at loose ends and so forth. And eventually, he solved the problem, so to speak. By mo he, this was in Toronto. He moved out of Toronto, up to the north, and um, started. And by now, has finished building a, a, a cottage in the, not not really the wilderness, but in cottage country north of Toronto. And in my own case, it was rather different. I mean, I knew when I was going to retire, but I already had a an, quite a good idea of what I wanted to do. Um, an idea I got actually in. Uh, the last year of my retirement, I was uh, at that time living in Vienna, and I was on a um, tour of uh, places where uh, uh, composers had lived. And in this case, it was Beethoven. Many of his the apartments where he's where he lived are still exist. They're now museums, of course. Uh, and I was on the tour, and I thought to myself, "Wow, well, maybe you could, one could write a book, you know, that would take you around, uh, you know, show you all these places." And one thing led to another. I, I asked the tour guide, and she put me on to an Austrian who'd written such books, but of course they're in German, and, no, and um, they also were not uh, designed the way I had in mind. They were more, um, not reference books, but close to it. So I thought, well, when I retire, well, I'll sort of, uh, you know, look into this, because I'd always been interested in music, uh, I mean, classical music, although I never had any formal training. And um, so I focused not on the music, but on the lives of these men. I mean, they're all men, uh, the ones I'm interested in uh, because of the time period. Although there are a few interesting women as well. Um, and so I am spent a lot of time, you know, burrowing in libraries. And then um, as part of the, my Vienna experience, I met my present partner. And she uh, is a great traveler, so we spend a lot of the time traveling. I mean, uh, in Asia, and we worked in uh, Central America in an orphanage, and that's taken up a lot of time. And, I st and that one thing leads to another, and so I'm the treasurer of uh, the fundraising, the Austrian fundraising office for this uh, this charity, which uh, uh, which has uh, um, orphanages with over 3,000 kids in them in uh, Central and South America and the Caribbean. So uh, I never found any difficulty moving from work to retirement. I still uh, have a, maintain an interest in the subject matter of what I worked on. I'm, and I still have uh, co colleagues who are younger than me. Uh, they come to Vienna and I chat with them about what's going on in the United Nations in, in Vienna. But it's not uh, the center of my life.